trains have always fascinated me and there's this kind of in the blood because my grandfather and my uncle are train collectors. In fact, I built a train set with my grandfather when I was maybe 11 or 12 and because um, he was um, invalid and amputee, had lost his leg. Um, he was very ill for many years and we take his mind off his pain and stuff so yeah. people that walk in the door kind of go oh wow it's like a museum in here and all this stuff everywhere it's all just stuff that's accumulated over the years, interesting bits and pieces, some of it useless, some of it useful. Just evolved really from the beginning and then just added things on as I went along. My um, occupation is dressmaking, so a kind of tool of the trade. So it's also interesting, same as with the trains, the sewing machines were developed over a long period of time so you can see a progression in the, the models. I restore them and sell them on but the problem is I get a new one and I get attached to it straight away and go mm, maybe I don't want to sell it so um, yeah I've always collected stuff I and mean, it sort of started with the trains and then the sewing machines and just interesting things and I don't know, I find it's interesting learning about the history of things and getting series of items that were made, like with the trains for instance, some were made for 10 or 20 years and every so often there was a change in the way that they were made so just seeing the development in the product is interesting. Surround myself with old objects because they're generally a just look better than new ones, I guess, I don't know, I don't like new things. Finding out the way the things were made and designed, how they work, a lot of new things, you can't do anything, like you can't even open them up let alone fix them, so it's just the whole throwaway society sort of thing things designed just to last a little bit longer than the warranty and then they fall apart so uh, inspiration comes from people and fabrics and materials it's not so much looking at what everyone else has already done so that's how you get your individual style <laughs>